I'm Daniel Corey. Like many people, I've long been fascinated by dragonflies. The poem I'm going to read is about a dragonfly I've never seen and never will because it's on the verge of extinction. The dragonfly is called the Edmund's snake tail. The epigraph <clears throat> I used for my poem is excerpted from this field guide. Dragonflies and Damselflies of Georgia and the Southeast by Giff Beaton. And the epigraph is this species is currently known only from six counties. It was thought extinct in the 1970s and 1980s. The science tells us we're going through the planet's sixth mass extinction. This one primarily caused by human impacts on the biosphere. So in writing about nature, in writing about species of fauna and flora, poets might think that a way to show respect and caring is to write as accurately as they can about the natural world. I, uh, in writing this poem about this species, read everything I could find about it, but there's not that much. Uh, so I really am very indebted to uh, Giff Beaton, who wrote this field guide. Um, I uh, wrote the draft of my poem, and I asked him if he would look at it and give me feedback on anything that was inaccurate about that species in the poem because he's one of maybe a few who have really closely observed this species, this subspecies. And uh, so he did, he, he read the poem and gave me a number of points of feedback that were accurate about dragonflies in general but not about this particular rare species. So um, I was very grateful for that feedback and I rewrote the poem and incorporated it so the poem would be as accurate as possible about this dragonfly. Also, I'm very indebted to Giff because he's photographed this species a number of times and I had this poem to be published in a chapbook by Iris Press. And uh, the press uh, was willing to publish, very interested in publishing uh, with the poem, a photograph Giff took of the Edmund snake tail so that readers could see what the species looks like. It's a beautiful creature, isn't it? <clears throat> Dragonfly Edmund's snake tail. You wing to perch in the tree's crown to still as jeweled yellow green. Your wings are pains overlooking currents clear and tireless pouring. Through spring into the summer's onset, you haunt green's spectrum of woods, leveling to foothills, chill seams, riffling over erosions of rocks. Rivers shallows ripple through rocks for you to claim, to 
to scud patrolling your glinting stint of territory. Mosquitoes plague and fate of flies. Your hunger scans through leaves. Your globes of eyes veer out from eras of genes lines past your reckoning, launching the rush of flight to the kill. An arrow's shaft, you fly to hunt the targets of your four wings course. A phallic shaft in flight, you shear through air to wings arcing up from Rock's Island. You clinch her. She arches her clubbed tail to you, pair bending to one wheel of two of you. You circle eggs shuddering from her, not knowing a man's name names you. Among human numbers, you don't know the nearing of zero. Caught in sight, your gleaming is beauty in sunlight over waters where instincts know streams, rocks, and trees heights. For now, April carries your rarities, facet of time you are. For now, you are a jeweled valediction, a living brooch you give to a branch, jeweling time.